Well, hello guys, Josh Bav here with White Oak Outdoors. Um, today we're going to be making baskets. Get after it. So, you're not going to want to miss this one, guys. So, stay tuned and don't go away. Okay, guys, first step here. This frog's kind of rotten. Rotten. So we're going to take our, this is what we call our spokes of our basket. We're going to, these are about the same length. And we can trim them up at the very end. And that's what we will do. We're going to take four of kind, kind of even them out a bit. So we're going to take our first batch, which is going to have four spokes in it. And we're going to take our next batch of spokes, which has five spokes in it. Now you might be thinking, why not have five and five or four and four? Um, if you do that, you're going to get an even amount. So when you weave them, it's, it, it won't work. So you need an uneven amount. So we have our group of five, our group of four, and we've eyeballed the center. You guys can see that. Making it a plus. So, we're going to take it. I originally started with the thicker end, but this time I'm going to start with the thin end. Actually, I'll go thick end. See, so we're going to start on top. Doesn't matter if you start on top or under, but as long as you weave. So it's going to be, we're going to, we're over, under, over, under, and this is a very finicky job, so part of my hands are going everywhere. I'll show you afterwards. Whew. Under. Over. Under. Over. Under. Now, if you have too thick of a vine, it's going to snap on you like it's snapping right now on me. I accidentally went over. It's supposed to go under. Which means you, you want to be very cautious about not trying to mess it up. Because if you try messing this up, You're probably gonna you're gonna have some pretty serious. Actually, no, you're not gonna have pretty serious consequences. Okay, so we have our more or less. We have our um, our bottom right. Now we need to start spreading out the plus. So we have our plus right here. We need to start spreading out the individual spokes. So we're going to take this. And I'm going to go over. Under. Over. Under. And over time, you'll start if you create if you try to form the basket. You know it'll it'll start forming on its own. You just got to be persistent and tell it where it's gonna go. So over that one is under this, over this, under this, over this. Pull it tight. Over this, under that, sorry. Now, I can't say I'm an expert basket weaver, but I know how to do it, and I can make a very rough basket.
and if we find that one of our weavers, I mean our spokes are too short and too long on the other side, just give that guy a yank and try not to break. There we go. Try to give it a yank and not break it. So over. Under. Over. under we're just can't keep repeating the process okay guys something I like to do when I'm making baskets is try to press it down in between my legs so that it flexes the spokes it starts making so a uh, basket form okay guys so I flip the basket over to kind of curl down and we're about to reach the end of our weaver and at this point most people wouldn't know what to do so I'm going to tell you flip it over and I'm going to find some place to tuck it since I'm still very early on in the basket making process I'm going to just tuck it down between a couple of stuff here Not right there, that's messing me up. Okay. Remember, this is the spoke where we left off, right? So we want to take a piece of that, we're going to take our weaver, we're going to tuck this in someplace. Now, there are places where you're traditionally supposed to tuck it but I don't have any of those spaces made yet so anything that's just gonna hold this guy in it's not like rope where you gotta have it super specific I mean you know super strong just need something that's gonna be able to weave and this Jeff the Virginia creeper works well um, you know things of that nature that just are kind of vine like Okay, and then we're just going to pick up where we left off. We went under, so we're going to go over. I can flip the basket over even if I wanted. So. Okay guys, so I'm kneeling down here so you can see my face and what's doing, what's going on. So I finished my basket, but you can see all these spokes are just sticking up everywhere. So we're going to find the smallest spoke, and we're going to try to make everything quite equal to that. I don't have to measure or anything. I trimmed them all up. They're somewhat equal. It doesn't really matter. Baskets are one of those things that are quite robust. You just, one way to finish them, and this is the way I've learned, is just to press them all through wherever they're going to go. And just keep doing that all the way around. Just find spots. Now, the ones that are a little thicker are going to be a little bit of a problem.
Okay, guys. As you can see, basket is finished. 